Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you begin the procedure of stacking the washer and dryer, refer to the installation manual for a list of recommended tools and parts you may need. The rear of the washer and dryer should be positioned no closer than 5 inches from the wall. If installing the stacked washer dryer in a recessed wall space or closet, allow for at least one inch of space on the sides of the appliance and the top of the dryer. There should be enough space to allow both doors to fully open. If a closet door is used, the door should be louvered or space left at the top and bottom of the door to ensure adequate airflow. Gently slide the washer close to its final location, leaving enough room to work behind the appliance. Confirm that the washer is level from side to side and front to back. If the washer is not level, support the appliance with a wood block and use a 9 16th inch wrench or an adjustable wrench to loosen one or more of the leveling leg lock nuts. Rotate the leveling leg or legs clockwise to lower the washer or counterclockwise to raise the washer. With the appliance level, tighten the lock nuts to secure the legs. Now tip the dryer back and rest it on a large piece of cardboard to help prevent floor damage. Use an adjustable wrench or slip joint pliers to unthread the existing feet, if applicable. Fully thread the feet provided in the kit into the dryer base. With the feet installed, return the dryer to its upright position. Keeping it on a piece of cardboard, gently slide the dryer in front of the washer. Now lift the dryer up and set it securely on top of the washer. Position it so the dryer slightly overhangs the back of the washer. With the flat side facing out, align a plastic clip on the lower edge of the slot on the rear of the dryer. You can use a flathead screwdriver to help pry the clip open. Align the second plastic clip on the opposite side. Next, push the hooked end of a metal bracket down over one of the plastic clips. You can use the screwdriver to help fully seat the bracket. Slide the dryer forward as needed and use a Phillips head screwdriver to thread the pan head screws to secure the bracket to the rear of the washer. Be sure to tighten the screws securely. Repeat to secure the second bracket to the washer. You can now fully install or reinstall the appliances according to the instruction manuals. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website. Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website, and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you begin the procedure of stacking the washer and dryer, refer to the installation manual for a list of recommended